Good day, beautiful people, and welcome back to the channel. Now, let's get back to the boat building. The boat was getting nearly finished, and uh, we didn't have a plan yet when we're going to sail, and how we're going to do it, and where the money is going to come from. But things in South Africa at that time changed. Mandela came out of jail. The Berlin Wall fell, sanctions started lifting against South Africa and that opened a big opportunity because beforehand under apartheid South Africans couldn't go nowhere. There was a few countries you can sail to but you can't go to the islands in the Caribbean, you can't go there, you just get chased away and you can't sail up in Africa. But uh, when Mandela came out Lots of things changed for us. And then they broke into my house, some friendly people, while I was working, and stole us out, man, the <laughs> TV, the, my wife's clothes, the, her jewelry, always her jewelry first, her wedding ring, you name it. My mountain bike, I was so proud of that bike, was gone. And uh, I had insurance. So I phoned the insurance man and he came and he checked it out. I'm not going to mention the insurance people. They came out, checked, they said, no, 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 they'll pay me out. And they looked at it, you know, and it was calculated that those days it was about 20,000 rands worth of stuff that was stolen. And they checked up. Now they're going through everything in my house to see if I was underinsured or overinsured. And, and it came out, I was like 1,000 rand overinsured which was a good thing. And then an insurance broker come to me and it says to me, okay, this is what I'll do. They'll replace the old TV, they'll replace those things and pay us out 12,000 Rand. And I said, yes, no, okay, we'll do that. As long as you replace the TV, those things, blah, 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 blah. A week later, he phoned my wife, says, okay, she can come and fetch the check. She went there, fetched the check, 12,000 Rand. I wait. Two months, three months, our phone, I say, hey, bro, when are you replacing? No, your wife has signed full agreement. They screwed me 6,000 bucks. I went and phoned him, his boss, his boss said, no, nah, we signed. I phoned the big boss, no. Nah. Eventually, I phoned Cape Town, the CEO of that company. He wouldn't take my call. But I just phoned every day. Eventually, he took my call. And then, here's the words he told me. He says, do you really want to go to court with us? You know how long we're going to keep this in court? You'll be broke. And since that day, I don't have any house. In I have insurance for my car burning. But for things, nah, I'll just replace it. When it's stolen, it's replaced later. But uh, I don't do you know, form your tools and bicycles and I just don't do it. In actual fact, I've saved more money by not doing it. And I had a no claim bonus as well. Okay, enough about the insurance people. Then, after that, my wife said, why don't we go sailing? After that, we got scammed by the scammers and then scammed by the insurance biggest scammers. And I resigned the next day. Just before my wife can change her mind, I went into work, told my boss, I'm going to sail around the world. And he says, how long is it going to take? I said, about six months to prep the boat because I was looking at the, the season and we were ready to uh, late for the season to sail. And I wanted to sail Afri Africa. So usually you go there in uh, just after the cyclone, April. We and uh, it was still six months. And he said, okay, no, uh, but why don't you stay on? I said, okay, I'll resign now and then I'll work as a contractor for you, which we did. See you, Oaks, next week and keep the stoke. See you in the water. Cheers. Mm -hmm.